Okay, we are playing black as you see we are playing, uh, we are playing against uh, 2100 so this is going to be a serious game so uh, I'm not going to play a different opening this time I'm going for the main line of the kings in and defense so as you see probably d4 short castle uh, this game is going to be extremely interesting Okay, so he's, uh, <coughs> he's, uh, <coughs> he developed the bishop around this uh, strong diagonal so yeah, we need to see that uh, this this go this game is going to be extremely uh, interesting. Uh, I guess I will try to maybe put some pressure against this uh, c4 because he already developed the bishop to this diagonal, and basically uh, he can play uh, d3, which is a bit passive, but it's uh, it's fine. So for now, e5 in the position is okay. But basically, we do want to play for uh, knight b6, put some pressure on this pawn. In case he's going to push, I can take, take, and then move the knight back. So uh, we just need to make sure that we are not blundering this uh, this pawn, of course. So first of all, uh, rook to e8 before committing to this pawn. I think it's uh, more in the position. And yeah, basically playing early before, I guess he will try to probably attack on the queen side. So we not we must need to be aware of that. Okay, so he's still thinking. And yeah, as you see, it's a very strong play. I will do my best in order to win this guy. Okay, so as you see, uh, d3 uh, creating this pawn chain, which is a bit passive, but uh, basically um, knight, knight b6 isn't really working. I mean, you can try to maybe encourage him to play for uh, c5 and then exchange and move back. This is, this is an idea, but uh, yeah. Now, of course, uh, he's trying basically to take this pawn and mess, mess with the, the pawn structure. If we're going to push, um, I guess we're also creating a weakness around this diagonal, so we need to acknowledge that. But I think that if we are able to create a very nice outpost for the knight, uh, we might be in a better shape. So we just need to make sure that we are not blundering, of course, this diagonal. For now, everything is protected. But if we're going to develop the bishop, we must uh, make sure that we are not blundering this rook or maybe open up uh, b6. For example, b6 might be tempted, but uh, yeah, so he's trying to attack on the queen side, as I mentioned. Okay, we can also slide the rook aside from the danger and then go immediately for b6, just in case. Okay, so basically if he's going to play, I'm probably going to lock the position. Um, yeah, but as you see, he's playing quite aggressive. I don't really want to open the edge file for him. So let's play the knight f8 in order to put the knight on uh, d4. Very nice outpost. Also, we free the bishop. There is no tension against our rook. And if he's going to play a6, I'm going to completely blockade the position. Um, yeah. I won't say that I'm better, but uh, I think that I did handle it well because uh, the moment that I saw if that he was playing for um, before, I did understand that he's probably going for uh, any queenside attack, so I was on time in order to stop that. Okay, of course, if by any reason he's going to move his rook from the file, uh, I will take the pawn. Now, he's, he saw this move, so probably he doesn't really want to allow me to go for, um, for this outpost. Um so basically what can we do? Uh, we can play for example uh, knight g4, maybe try to put some uh, more, uh, maybe try to encourage uh, for him to play for uh, some uh, more weaknesses. So yeah, let's play for uh, knight g4. Okay, basically you want him to give you some... Uh, some spot to attack because it doesn't really seem like he's got uh, some weaknesses and as you see it doesn't seem like you want to play uh, a6 or uh, b6 because I can just fix my uh, pawn structure completely okay so basically uh, b6 okay so he, he played h6 h3 sorry and basically I can try to attack it okay if, if possible but for now, uh, we need to remain solid. We need to make sure that we are not plundering anything, of course. I guess he will try to put a rook on the center, on the default against our queen. So um, opening up the position might be in his favor. So we need to acknowledge that. 
Uh, okay, so already, for example, queen c7 or maybe even queen e7 makes some sense just to remove ourselves from the rook. Okay, so rook to b1. Uh, um, interesting. But uh, we still need to try to attack on his weaknesses. So how can we do it, guys? Um, yes, let's develop the bishop. Okay, we want to play around his pawn probably. Maybe we want to also try to play for uh, bishop g5. Just uh, maneuver his bishop to the other diagonal because this diagonal is currently closed. But yeah, I am a bit nervous from um, from d4. Okay, I think that d4 is very strong, so I don't really want to remove this knight from the defense, but we can't really know uh, what's going to happen next. Okay, also as you see, this rook is a bit misplaced, so we want to put it on the center. So actually, queen c7, for example, we can immediately put the rook on d8. So we can keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, we can also try to maybe uh, <coughs> go for f5. f5 is an uh, important rule in, uh, in, on the king's in defense to have some counter-attack. But first of all, I want to make sure that we don't really have uh, any weaknesses. And of course, we need to handle the pressure that we got on the queen side. So attacking too soon. Okay, of course, now we fix the, the pawn structure completely. Um, yeah, so let's let's remove the queen from um, from any nasty attacks on the d file. So as you see, we fixed our uh, structure completely. Um, later, maybe playing on around this d5 makes sense, but as long as you got some some pressure on my position, I uh, want to avoid that. And my idea is okay is uh, again uh, to play rook d8, uh, queen c8, and then try to attack his weakness. If you, if we, by any mean, any um, uh, meaning reason, uh, going to play for uh, e4, I can use this outpost for my uh, for my knight. Okay, now in this position, I can actually take and now double up his pawns. Um, I think th this is actually quite good because uh, this pawn is going to also blockade this bishop completely. The downside is that he will have some pressure around my uh, my d6. So, but we can always play bishop to f8 just in case. So I think that uh, I will actually want to allow that. Of course, we just need to make sure that we are not blundering this pawn, of course. But it seems like we are completely fine. Also, in the future, uh, knight to g5 uh, to put some pressure against those pawns makes some sense. Okay, but uh, now before committing, let's first of all put the rook. He will try to maybe uh, add uh, an attacker against this pawn. As you see, he's trying to maybe create something. Uh, so for now, let's move the bishop back. We are defend defending everything. So as you see, he, he can try to maybe go for an attack, but uh, the question is, uh, do we want to eat, uh, you want to sacrifice the exchange or not? Because you do want you do need to sacrifice the exchange if you want to open up some lines. Okay, um, now basically we also need to find a new spot for the knight. Um, yeah, not, not a simple uh, game guys, but I think that we are handling it uh, quite well. Okay, so basically knight g4, we can maybe go for uh, f5, but I don't really want to undouble his pawns. Um, hmm. Downside that if I'm going to move my queen from this diagonal, you can then try to maybe attack my position completely. So we need to be careful uh, not to blunder that. Okay, so for now, let's move the knight to g7. Oh, also he's got... Uh, he can try to maybe attack this pawn. Then if I take, take, I'm going to... He probably going to pressure my bishop. So as you see, for example, takes, 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 he can then attack the bishop. So uh, of course we need to be careful not to blunder that. So for now, bishop, yeah, um, yeah, he's got some ideas. Or oh, also maybe trying to attack the rook. So <clears throat> no, not a simple position actually. 
to basically sacrifice it and then open up some lines against the rooks and anything. So I think that I don't really like the idea of playing f6, but I don't really have a choice. So I need to fix my uh, structure. I am creating some weaknesses, of course, but um, I can't really allow him to sacrifice and then uh, attack on the rook or my bishop because then my position is going to be completely collapsed. So. Uh, even though I really hate this move, f6, uh, I don't really see that we have uh, much of a choice. Okay, and again, this knight is still misplayed, misplaced, so um, knight e6 isn't really... Maybe knight e6 now, because then it doesn't really have some, so much pressure against this rook, but yeah, let's see. Okay, basically for now... Okay, so he moved his uh, queen away. Now, for now, we want to basically uh, put more, more pressure on, it, on this pawn. So, first of all, let's play bishop uh, e6. Okay, we also got some pressure against this pawn. Also, we can maybe pressure uh, this pawn as well. And we want to find a new spot for the knight. I'm not sure how can we do it. I guess maybe now, actually. Maybe now f5 is... Uh, is a move with a tempo on the rook probably okay so i guess let's play queen c8 okay just put some pressure on this pawn and then we can also play for uh, f5 yeah we can now play for f5 <clears throat> if he takes i can take with the knight And as you see, my position is uh, is okay, but again, you can still take this pawn and then uh, we might be in some trouble. So for now, everything is fine because this queen is no longer on the D file, but we need to be careful because those ideas can, uh, can make me lose this game. Okay, exchange and then lose the rook, for example. Okay, so I guess let's take with the knight. Okay, in, in any case that is going to play for uh, e4, I will try to put the rook, the knight on uh, d4 and create a very nice outpost. Okay, so as you see, not, not an easy position, but I see that he's also trying to, uh, to play a good move in this position. Okay, now he's got another attacker, but as you see, we are also defending it uh, one more time. Okay, so I guess... Mm. It's it's problem because he got also a um, knight f6 with a double attack on my position. Okay, so basically bishop here, and then he can attack the knight. And we got so much out of this position; it's just crazy the amount of pressure. But yeah. Um, Okay, so bishop here, we don't really have a choice, we must blockade this uh, pressure that we got, and I guess that um, g4 is uh, is coming next. Okay, because basically we want to attack the defender and then uh, win this pawn and collapse and uh, make our position co completely collapsing. Okay, um h4 i'm not really sure this is good for him actually and now we also might have some ideas to sacrifice it's obviously too early but um yeah and also i guess he's trying to maybe put the knight on uh, um on uh, on g5 okay so knight g5 i will probably going to to exchange for now i will play for a5 just in order to uh, remove any uh, any g4 ideas okay so basically take takes we might be in some tr troubles we can also take ourselves but then open up uh, this diagonal completely yeah but i don't really think i have much of a choice i think that we must take this pawn even in the cost of opening up his bishop completely but we still need to keep an eye that we are not plundering any mates or any any ideas Okay, now I think that, again, this knight is uh, well placed. Uh, we cannot go for uh, for the knight post because he got more attackers than me. But I think that we are starting to create something around this position. Also, knight uh, h6, knight to g4 makes some sense. Um, 
but again we are going to lose the defender so first of all let's let's make sure that everything is protected I guess that queen uh, d2 is coming next yeah, it's not simple at all okay now as you see it's trying to go for a checkmate now this knight is protecting um, this knight is protecting uh, g7 and we can also defend with the queen mm, it's not easy guys we can also drop the bishop back and after a check i can go here obviously and the next check is defended by the by the knight so let's draw back and we're probably going to move the the king to f7 after uh, after this check but basically as long as we got enough space for uh, for the king we are going to be fine also this knight is covering g7 so yeah but again it still got a lot of pressure on this uh, weakness that we got okay so i guess I will pr probably go in for an exchange if we, if it's possible. Okay, also this bishop is covering. Hmm. Yeah, I missed that. Uh, okay, we must fall back. Yeah, it's not simple at all. Okay, check. I need, I guess that I must. Uh, move back you must react to it because then this bishop is going to be attack and yeah it seems like the position is completely collapsing he's playing very good but uh, we still got some uh, more time on the clock and we're going to try to survive that okay yeah so he found this uh, he found this move let's move the knight i guess yeah the king sorry Okay, let's take. Now the bishop is still defended. This knight is defended by the bishop. This pawn is hanging, but uh, yeah. Now taking with the knight is good because now we're also defending on uh, h5, and also we got another defender for the bishop. But yeah, basically, it seems like we are completely losing. Um, again, it's still not over, but. I'm not really happy with my position. Yeah, and um, rook d7 is uh, really, really dangerous. Okay, so let's move here with the tempo on the queen, and we can still win it. We just need to make to play uh, extremely fast. And it doesn't seem like you got a lot of space. Okay, and of course we don't want to pin the pin the knight, so yeah, we're in a, not such a good position, guys. Yeah. So uh, this was the he took he took the knight with the checkmate. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, let's see the game review real quick. It wasn't, wasn't an easy game. Okay, so basically d5 was uh, more accurate in this position. Okay, the engine doesn't really like pushing the pawn. Okay, yeah, b6 was uh, really good. Okay, h5 was more in the position. f3 was an excellent move. Yeah, so pushing pushing the pawn was a mistake. Then the position uh, started to really collapsing. Okay, and again, this uh, white has a lot of advantage around this position. Okay, and then uh, king h7 was best. Yeah, and then the position started to completely collapsing. Okay, taken with the queen, of course, was more accurate. Yes, in here you can just take the knight and this comes with a full checkmate, of course. And also, if not checkmate, we're going to lose the queen. So, yeah, basically we totally collapsed. 
We still played it good, I guess. So I'm going to learn a lot of from uh, from this game. But uh, yeah, I think that it was a fine, uh, fine match uh, overall. So thanks for watching.